All right, we're back with the Raider Report. We're with Mountain Union second year wrestling coach Mark Haywald. Coach, a week ago at the OSC Championships, the Raiders finished second. Uh, you had one guy get through to Nationals, Bill Shindell winning at 197. Uh, what's it mean to you and, you know, and the program and that thing to have uh, the week you had last week? Uh, it means a lot. I think it shows uh, the hard work we've put in as coaches and as wrestlers has, uh, has paid off. Uh, that was our, our goal to, to get out to the conference, to win the tournament, to get everyone nationals. So we got one person, uh, two were close, uh, five other plays or four other plays. So uh, it, it was a nice, nice tournament for us, a nice, uh, nice growth from last year, big, uh, big improvement. Now, looking forward, bringing in new people, recruits, it shows as a coaching staff, uh, we're, we're confident and we know what we're doing. I was going to say, does this meet your expectations of where you thought the program would be in year number two at the helm? Uh, I'd say so. It's uh, I guess I don't really didn't really have a number in my head of where we wanted to be. I, I figured top four was where we had to be. If I wanted to show some growth from last season, finishing uh, fifth, started the season ranked it out. Actually finished fifth, sixth, started the finish ranked season ranked fifth, and uh, can't talk here. Um, but uh, so to finish in the top four, I wanted to be better than what was expected, and to finish second, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think it's. It's where we needed to be to move forward next year and challenge for a title. Well, before we talk too much about next year, you've got one very big thing left on this year's schedule, going out to the NCAA Championships in Cedar Rapids, Iowa next week. You and Bill will be heading out there. Um, what, you know, obviously you've got some experience from your days at John Carroll uh, out at the National Tournament. What can you take from your experience at Nationals and uh, hopefully help Bill out next week? Uh, what I can take is, is knowing that every, every tournament, every weight class, it's just a battle. It's, uh, nobody is, is at any more advantage than someone else, so about fighting and being tough and being mean and, and just having the heart out there. So that's what we've been working on lately with Bill, just focused on Bill Shindell. I mean, we just finished a workout where it was myself, uh, assistant coach Adam Lang, and then Bill and our heavyweight Derek Hudson just pounding on Bill for two straight hours, just doing nothing but giving him the looks he needs, uh, working on things he needs to address, uh, his strengths, improving those and, and trying to fix his weaknesses. We've got a week hard here. We're leaving in uh, six days, so we have to short time just to improve. And so that's what I know is about being perfect and fine-tuning everything to, to be an All-American out there. So you talked a little bit about practice. Does practice change at all? I mean, from, from your practices that you do usually throughout the season, does this take on a little different practice preparation this time? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we focused on the whole team throughout the year uh, as OEC's approach. You narrow it down to your 10, 10 people representing the team, what they need uh, specifically, and now it's just all built. So if we had two or three guys in here, yeah, we'd be thinking about what does Bill need, what does Andy need, what does Derek need. Well, that's not the case, so now it's 100% Bill, which is obviously you'd like to bring the whole team out to Nationals, but as a coach it's nice to focus because we don't get to spend two straight hours ever with one person. So now to do that, he's got two coaches on him the whole time, it's should be pretty beneficial. I think the improvement he can make from last week until time to rough at the Nationals should be pretty substantial because of that. All right, Coach, last question for you. What can all of this mean, the, the OAC stuff last week, the NCAAs next week, what can that mean as kind of a springboard for your program? Have you noticed a difference in your wrestlers, um, you know, right now after what, what's just happened? I mean, I'm sure you got guys that are just chomping to get back on the mat after what happened. Yeah, it, it's nice to end on a high note because everyone's eager to get back at it. Uh, guys are already, we finished the tournament Saturday. On Monday, they're already lifting, ready to go, building back up for next year. So that, that's huge. I think the confidence has improved. And maybe some of these guys thought, I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm not good enough. They were also really see tournament lose in the finals. will lose close match in the semis and realize they're right there. They're right there with, with all these guys. So I think that's great. Now they can use that and motivate them to work harder in the off season. And I think it's, it's, that's what we need. It's eight months of, se or of the off season, four months in season. So that eight months is more important sometimes than what we do during the season. Well, we would be remiss as well if we didn't talk about the springboard of probably your program moving into a new facility next year, a brand new state-of-the-art wrestling room, mm -hmm. a remodeled uh, Timken Physical Education building in Mount Union. Uh, how's, I mean, it seems like everything's peaking at the right time for you, Coach. Yeah. Players, facilities, things coming Great coming place up. to be. Uh, <laughs> brand new wrestling room, uh, program coming off a nice finish and looking to improve. Uh, just a lot of exciting things happen all over campus, and I think um, 
the wrestling team might be that the most exciting thing of them all. So, uh, <laughs> but we won't tell <laughs> we won't tell Coach Karras that. Yeah, but don't, that's it. don't tell him about the point. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I think it's it's real exciting, and to be a part of something special like that, a uh, new facility, new uh, team, new generation of of, of Mount Union wrestling could be real exciting. So I hope uh, people coming in are going to realize that when they get here uh, next season. And that's the Raider Report with Mount Union wrestling coach Mark Haywell. Thanks, coach. All right.